Yo, what guan? It's that guy. Not locks. Not nation. As an update to yesterday's video, Plika Polonika, return of the dreaded Plika Polonika. Now I'm reacting to that dude's locked. Now I'm reacting to that dude's Plika that got chopped off in the parking lot of his pub over in Cornwall, United Kingdom. The craziest thing about this video is that this dude decided to get dreads in 1994 and had left it. Once he decided, he just locked up and left it and didn't do a thing to it for 20 odd years, creating this beaver tail type dreadlock that falls down the back of his head. Plika Polonika's been around since the beginning of time, back in the ancient days. You don't really see them as often now, even if they were, they probably weren't even that common back in the day either, but especially not now, and more so now, when you see somebody with a plika or a beaver tail lock, it's automatically assumed that they're dirty or they, they're, they don't bathe and it's, it's not a good stigma to be having when you're carrying around a lock like this and I get it because it's hard to make beaver tail dreadlocks look clean because there's so much of it um, you know so I don't even really, really understand how you would make them not be so stigmatic but personally I love the way they look I'm fascinated by the fact that for one they even grow that big and that long and for two how humans can even maintain that on their head it's quite remarkable if you ask me so without further ado I'm gonna throw you guys to the video reaction of um, this dude chopping off his 24 year old Plika Polonika in England and uh, definitely smash that subscribe button and hit that bell right beside it as well so that you're notified notified on every single upload so without further ado let's get it yo what up it's that guy i'm gonna be i'm going to be reacting to this dude getting his plika polonika fresh cut off his head Says here, pub chef has his dreadlock sheared like a sheep as he first cuts his hair in 23 years for charity. Uh, Lee Hicks is 45 from Cornwall, United Kingdom. Last week he had his hair cut since it was growing since 1994. Mr. Hicks began growing dreadlocks in the mid 90s and never got around to getting it trimmed. So when friends suggested, he lost it in the name of charity. Big ass photo here of what his locks look like as you can see it was a big plica that's been cut off and, and it is one dreadlock uh, it says crowds gathered to watch the momentous occasion in the car park of the green parrot pub in cornwall he raised 900 pound for this local surf life saving club when he went under the scissors the hairdresser said the hair was so heavy and dense the shaver got stuck over the years, it has been called everything from a beaver's tail to a doormat. Mr. Hicks said the last time he cut his hair was in 1994 and had been meaning to get it cut for well 23 years. A few of the boys got together in the pub and suggested I cut it all off to raise money for the Surf Life Saving Club. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch the video here and see just exactly how well it was done. Amazing. Wow. Honestly, I think the shears are getting through. You're a handsome man underneath that. Yeah. He's yeah. had some last floor. I'm going to go in the back. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go in the back. 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 There may not be a number two left. Okay. Probably won't be a number two left. Be nothing left. No, it's, it's, it isn't on the braid. Put a bit of wax on the braid. I'm trying not to do it all over so I can actually try and do it half of the way. Nice. Just play with me now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 Too late now, right? Change your mind now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here's a smiley. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take <it> too quick. <laughs> That's 
Yeah, that's about 10 kilos. Got all the lights out Nearly there. It's well doing. <laughs> How long you had them treads, Lee? We're Last right. air cut, 94. <laughs> <laughs> Save yeah. the fortune. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. 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 Welcome back. <laughs> I really love how the dude still has that one dread in the front center of his baldness hanging down and it's been free formed in. I love how they've been calling it a beaver tail dreadlock. And I wonder if he ended up shaving the rest of his hair off as well. Kind of a cr craziest plica transformation I've ever seen, I must say. And that is 20 years of hair growth, even though it's not the longest in dreadlocks for 20 years. It definitely matted up a lot. And I hope that this dude has um, learned a lot of valuable lessons from growing locks for that long. You know, but 20 years of neglect on something like this. I can only imagine what else he's neglecting in his life, but I don't know. Who am I to say? Who am I to say? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this video. Smash that thumbs up button and hit that bell to be notified of all the new content released here on Not Nation. I'm going to sign out, but until next time, peace out, one love, say happy and natty, and I'll see you guys in the next dreadlock update. And one more thing, just a minute of motivation, remember that life is not a journey life is a dance life is meant to be present in the present moment dancing and having fun and enjoying your company so not to worry about where you are to be or where you've been just be in the moment and dance and treat life like a dance and you'll be happy that you're dancing I mean I really love doing these types of videos for y'all I really love reviewing dreadlocks I really love talking about it I really love bringing the community together to help build such a, a stronger system a stronger network of dreadheads out there with like-mindedness you know basically the same spirituality, the same diet, the same sort of lifestyle that we're all ideally aiming to create for ourselves. So um, whether you got twists, whether you got interlocks, whether you got freeform dreads, whether you got plica polonicas, we gotta band together and unite all the lock heads together so that we can create a nation worth fighting with and fighting for. So, um, I feel like overall this dude's plica in the parking lot being cut off uh, was a fascinating day. Probably went down in history books for that small town over in England. Everyone's gonna remember Buddy's hair getting chopped off. Um, and I don't know about the morning drinking that's been going on there in that parking lot, but whatever. Personally, I don't drink myself. Um, there's nothing real natural about alcohol in my system. Uh, so I just try to uh, avoid it, but you know I'm down with the herbs. Herbs is natty. Anyways, I'm gonna sign off. Not Nation heading out. Peace out, one love, so happy and natty. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm gone. Adios. <laughs>